Guys, what's going on? It's Glendon Cameron here again, and I want to share with you the best use of the American Express Platinum Business Credit Card. So here is mine. And that was the business credit card. That's the personal credit card and the American Express Gold. Now, this is gonna be a very different conversation on using the American Express Business Platinum and Gold Cards. Number one, I feel that if you're watching this video, you have a business where you can use these cards. I'm gonna say something that, in my opinion, if you don't have a business that you can fully utilize these cards, I don't feel that they're worth having. Also, with the American Express Platinum and with the American Express Gold, Guess what? These are business credit cards. So the $695 fee for the platinum and the $250 fee for the gold are 100% tax deductible because they're business credit cards used for business purposes. This card, which is my personal card, I have a lot of fees. I use the Audible, I use the food credit fees, so that knocks down that. But essentially, this is the setup that you want to have. You want to have the American Express Platinum and you want to have the American Express Gold. I use the gold more than I use the platinum and I'm going to explain why in a minute. Let's say, let's talk about the setup. These cards are not particularly hard to get if you have a credit score above 700. If you have a credit score above 700, you can get both these cards and American Express doesn't seem to care about a lot of inquiries. So you could have opened up several new accounts and still get those cards. So getting the cards, that's easy. But once again, how do you get these cards and use these cards? Because once again, I'm going to say this for the second time. If you don't have a business with enough spend, I don't see the point in having these cards other than Maybe you got the card for the opening offer, and after that, and then you're like, I don't wanna deal with it because of that hefty annual fee. One of the things that I find, and I'm gonna explain why I use the gold card more than I use the platinum card. The gold card has some really special little benefits. Food, I get 4X the points on food. I use this for all my business spending for food. Business, also, this card's gonna become a very big part of my business when it comes to online advertising. I spend $30,000 per month on online advertising. Guess how many points I would get? I would get 120,000 points. So let's just talk about that. There are specific use cases for the American Express Gold that if you have this spend, and let's just talk about the gold card. Let's say, now there's a limit. I can only spend $150,000 and get that 4X return, and after $150,000, then it drops to one, one point. And this is some of the reasons that you should subscribe, you should hit the bell notification, and you should like this video, is I'm going to teach you how to get even more American Express benefits from the gold card. Because one of the things, and this is a video that's gonna come up a little later, I have a holding company and I have many different businesses under that holding company. So let's go ahead and say I start spending on this card and then a month, like I'm at 120,000 in spend and I got literally 30,000 more to spend and this card would be done. Guess what? Since I have a holding company, I can go to another one of my companies and get an American Express gold card for that company and then I'm getting the bit, I've got the benefits for this card. Then I have another gold and I get the benefits for that card. Now, that's one of the best use case for scenarios. Or you could, like I said, you can only buy so much food. You can only buy so much gas. You can only buy so much of those things. But if you have bona fide, definite business spend categories, this card can be amazing. Once again, it's a business credit card 
fee of $250 is a 100% tax deduction. This is where things get interesting. Let's say I was just an average person and I didn't know about the holding company strategy. All right, so let's say I go ahead and max out this card at 150. Guess what this card does? This card, when you spend 5,000 or more, it pays you 1.5% in points. So if I spent 30,000, then I would get 45,000 in points. So th there's a lot of ways you can use these. It just depends upon, do you have a valid business use to use these cards? And once again, I feel that the American Express Gold is one of the best hidden values in the American Express product tree. Now I have this and I have this because when it comes to traveling, these cards are amazing. You get the points. When you buy a plane ticket, it's 5X points. You get a hotel, it's 5X points. And when you, because essentially, let me explain to you what I'm getting ready to do. I have a lot of American Express business credit products. And matter of fact, let's see. I can actually show you. And I love this because it opens up itself. But see, that is my American Express product tree. I have a lot of American Express products. And why do I have a lot of American Express products? Because for business purposes, these cards are virtually amazing if you have the verified adjustable spend to make having these cards worth having. One of the things that you should do, and like I said, this is very different American Express review, is you should have the spend. And let's talk about that. What do I say? you should have to spend. You should have a business where you're traveling or you're buying online advertising or you you must have a valid need to have these cards. Because if you just get the card just to say, hey, I have an American Express Gold, I have an American Express Platinum, you're just kind of cheating yourself. Whereas, let me explain to you what's going to happen with this card this year. And I'm right now in the stages of putting it together. I'm going to actually have two to three of these cards this year because I'm going to max out that spend for my business. And then essentially this is how I do it. You can do it any way that you want to do it, but this is how I do it. If I have a business trip that I'm going on, I will just go ahead and buy my plane ticket, my hotel, whatever with this card. And that gives me 30, something days to pay it off. That's what I would do. Now, what do I do with my points? That's for fun. That's for going out of town, having a nice trip, having a, a great experience. But for a business need, like right now, now I'm gonna give you some little tips here. Let's say you had a YouTube business. And this is a business that a lot of people do not set up correctly. They do not set up these YouTube businesses with the right LLCs. They don't do anything. But let's say you came to this channel, you watch these videos, and then you set up a fully verified YouTube business. What is the fully verified YouTube business? Glad you asked. I'm gonna tell you. You actually have an LLC, an EIN, and a business checking account and if the bank, if you're a person with a credit score above 700, and if the bank offers a business credit card, you should get it. Now, you have this fully verified YouTube LLC. Now, I would go out and get either this card, essentially, I would get both of these cards. You have a verified business LLC, which means the fees, you don't have to worry about them because the fees are now tax deductions. Now, if you were a fully verified YouTube business and you wanted to go to Miami to make a video, I would go ahead and pull this guy out and then buy my plane ticket, buy my hotel tickets, get my Uber, Hertz, whatever car, and I would put all of this on this card. Now, why would you put all of that on that card? Great question. When it comes time for you to do your taxes, you can just look back through your statements. This is one of the things that I do. All personal spend 
is spent on the personal credit cards and all of the business spend is spent on the business credit cards. Now, why am I making a point about it? If you're spending your business expenses on your business credit cards, your monthly bank statements or accurate records of your business spend that will make it very easy for you to do your taxes. Once again, mostly in my wallet, I just have business credit cards because most of my spend is business. But every now and then I do have some personal spend and the personal spend goes on the personal American Express credit card or one of my many others. Currently, I probably have 50 credit cards and the vast majority of them are personal and I have a bunch of business credit cards because right now in my wallet I've just got one two three four five six seven <laughs> I'm carrying seven business credit cards and one personal and I have more but one of the things is what I love about the American Express business platinum credit card is if you're using it in the right framework you're using it in the correct manner, this is a very indispensable business credit card product. I'm at a point where I have an American Express rep and my credit limit on these two, and I will break that down. There's two credit limits for these cards. There's the overall credit limit and there's the pay over time credit limit. My pay over time credit limit is $30,000 for this and my pay over time limit for this one is ten thousand dollars now i have an american express rep who told me that my total available credit limit on both of these cards the overall spend is three hundred and fifty thousand between these two cards but i can spend thirty thousand in pay over time so that three hundred and twenty thousand if i spent that i would need to pay that back at the end of the month, but I have 30,000 in credit limits on these cards that I can use any way that I want to. Now, typically what I do with the credit cards is I use them for judicious business purposes. Now at the moment, there's nothing on these credit cards because at the moment I'm kind of gearing up for some business spent. And that's something else that we should talk about. There's a ton of videos on YouTube about getting business credit cards, getting this money so you have to spend. And I got some advice for you in that category. If you're going to get a business credit card and you want to use that money, I would use it for a proven product. Now, what do I mean by that? Let's say you started a business three years ago. You got the business up, running, making cash flow you file taxes, I would definitely go out and get a business credit card for that business. Essentially, if you knew what to do, because once again, this is why I'm here, you should have got that business credit card the day that you opened up your business checking. If you had a decent credit score of six, they say 680, I'm gonna be a little comfortable saying over 700. If you had a credit score of 700, you should get the business checking, you have the EIN, the LLC, and all of that and a business credit card. And once again, these cards make it so easy to separate your personal spend from your business spend. I don't know why everyone isn't doing it because this gives you a verifiable track record for the things that you need to do in terms of your business. Let's say you wanna buy your employees lunch. This is the card you would do is, hey, I'm buying everyone pizza. This is a business event. It's a business luncheon. This 100% tax deductible. This card, that lunch, all of that. So I'm here to give you a different experience on getting business credit because there's a lot of information out there, a lot of videos, go out and get business credit, but there's no one telling you how to use business credit and how to get these cards and how to properly use them. And once again, I'm an American Express fanboy. I feel that these American Express credit cards are the best credit cards for businesses that have an explicit spend. Now, 
at the moment, there's no, there's nothing on these credit cards, right? Because at the moment, I'm not spending anything in my business. But once I go ahead and get the ad spend rolling, then this card, I'll probably, in the beginning, I'm not gonna spend a lot because I gotta go ahead, get my ad situated, gotta get them approved and all this other stuff. I gotta vet them, I gotta test them. And then I will be spending a lot of money with this credit card. And then also there, there are so many ways you can do this and I'll be talking about this, but be sure to subscribe, be sure to hit the bell notification, be sure to like this video and be sure to stay tuned because there's a lot of different things that are coming your way. So that's my first little entry into the American Express business credit cards. Once again, my favorite business credit card issuer. I love their products. I love the things that they put out. I love their offerings. There's gonna be some training coming up and I may have a link in the first comment. I may not, just depends on where we are but be sure to look out for that. And we're gonna have a waiting list for people who are interested in the training. So you can go in there, put your email list, email on that. And once I get it ready, I will start sending it out. But I just wanted to put this together because American Express can be an incredible and powerful ally to your business if you use it correctly and do the correct things. This is Glendon Cameron. I'll see you in the next week. And thank you for coming out.